Wow, we received over 300% funding and more than 1200 founders joined our journey, which is super exciting and much more than we expected when we started. So great job, everybody. Yeah. I'm very excited to continue the journey together with you. And there is another thing that we can celebrate. We reached the 200,000 stretch goal. Yay. The campaign is more exciting, but that means that we're going to continue with the five-sided dye supplemented PPT keycaps and we're going to make them available as soon as we can. To clarify, this will be a separate product which you as a founder will get a heavy discount on. Now, the question now is like, what's going to happen next now the campaign ended? We're going away, we're going to have fun with your money and have a splendid vacation. Then we'll come back and we'll see if we'll continue with the production or not. But Maybe that's not such a good idea. Let's get, let's focus on the campaign itself first because there are some technical things we have to get out of the way and that you need to jump on straight away. There's a deadline on the 10th of November for you to complete your name on the box and signature or mark on the PCBA. Now the way you do that, the name on the box, you can now go to the order hub, which there is a link below to get there or you can go to the 60HC page on the right top, there is also a link called Order Hub. There you can preview what is going to be printed somewhere <laughs> on the box. And if you want to change that option, you can still change that option between first name, last name, your Discord handle, or just anonymous if you don't want to have your name displayed at all. If we have duplicates, it will also be shown as duplicates on the box. That's really cool. So make sure you confirm this before the 10th of November, otherwise no changes. The mark on the PCBA, uh, you received an email from Eric. If you've not responded on this email, make sure you respond. If you don't respond before the 10th of November, we will just have to fill that spot up with something creative. Uh, we'll obviously still try to reach out, but that deadline is very, very important. Otherwise it will interfere with the production and development of the 60HE. Then the last part about the campaign is that now there is no more campaign pre-orders available at all. That means no Founders Edition, no Signature Editions, no campaign perks, which are the discount on MRCP, and I was there Discord role, which is exclusive for campaign people. But will it come back in pre-order? Yes, it will. We will go back into the pre-order phase, but that will be a regular pre-order phase starting also the 10th of November. The regular pre-order means that you can only get the standard edition without the discount and without the exclusive Discord role. So if you have any friends that still want to join, too bad for them, but let them still join because it's, they will still join an awesome journey towards production and of course get an awesome product. So still do that. Now let's focus on the timeline. What is going to come next? Go to the 60HE page, subheading, timeline, to see the whole overview. The next step here is DVT, which is Design Validation Test. Now, this is a very important step because this is where we do all the different type of tests with the keyboard to make sure we can get the FCC and CE licensing and to make sure the keyboard safely arrives at your front door. This means environmental tests, drop tests, and electromagnetic tests. <laughs> and about electromagnetic tests, uh, we actually already did a couple and this is like a preliminary test before we go to the FCC CE licensing to make sure we get through it without a problem because if we don't, oh my god, we had this with one of the products and you have to repeatedly go through the tests and it kills a lot of time, don't want that to happen and the good news is we completely obliterated that test uh, and we're 100% sure we're going to reach uh, and meet the requirements of the CE FCC certification. Now, what kind of tests are those? There is three of them, and I'm definitely going to look at my notebook here to explain those tests. The first one is EMI, then we have ESD, and we have EFT. Now, EMI is the most common one. This is electromagnetic interference, meaning that our keyboard will not interfere with your other electronic devices. Then we have an ESD test, which is about when, you know, when you're running on a carpet and everything, and you touch your keyboard and you, get, you give it a shock that the keyboard still functions and there's no problem. Uh, which is electromagnetic discharge. Then the last one is EFT, which is electrical fast transient. Basically it comes down to make sure the keyboard keeps functioning and has no problem when you keep replugging the cable because every time you replug it, it pulses electronics. So we pass all these tests, really great. We'll have no problem with the certification. What is going to come after the DVT uh, or even before the DVT 
Uh, we still have a few different things that we have running, like travel sleeve, we have the leather strap, we also have the PBT keycaps, of which I have here one of the near final samples of the Wooting double shot PBT keycaps. Only on ANSI models, sorry ISO guys, too difficult. But we'll be showing more stuff on this. We'll be sharing a bit more about our developments with the travel sleeve because we've already now made a sample. We're going through a second sample and we're doing trying a different route as well. And we're kind of going to see which direction we're going to take. So there's a bunch of stuff that we can still talk about. For, but for now, this is all I wanted to share in this update. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.